Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. Today, um, basically, I'm going to demonstrate why boats float. So in the last part of the video, I um, showed you about my ideas for building a boat out of expanded polystyrene covered with fiberglass. Obviously, um, that makes quite a light structure, and the, the expanded polystyrene is full of air, so it floats by itself. But you don't need to have something that floats by itself to make a boat. As I mentioned in the last video, um, some big yachts have concrete hulls and obviously cruise ships and military ships are made of steel. Um, and if you throw a lump of steel in a swimming pool it sinks. So I'm just going to demonstrate um, basically why the boat floats. So I've got here um, a lump of modelling clay and a bowl of water. Obviously um, the clay sinks like a stone into water, the same as um, if you've got a, a, so say a lump of steel and threw it into a swimming pool and then you made a boat out of steel but the boat floats, so how's that? So anyway, what we're going to do now, let me just dry that off. I'm going to make this lump of clay into a boat shape. So let's just... Right, there we go. So now I've made this uh, roughly into a boat shape. It's not a very good boat, but... Um, if we put it back in the water, then it floats. And that is because it is full of air. Oh my god, there's a big hole in the top. All the air can escape. To be replaced by what? More air. So the only way you can make it float is obviously if you displace the air by filling it with water, um, then it doesn't have enough air in to maintain its buoyancy and it sinks. So basically you can make a boat out of anything. You can make a boat out of sheets of lead if you wanted, as long as you basically make it hollow. There's enough air in there to um, provide buoyancy for the boat material and the passengers. So there we go. So I'm gonna continue next time with building my boat frame. It is poly expanded polystyrene, which has extra buoyancy, mainly because it's full of air. So with enough sections um, of polystyrene, in theory, you could actually have the boat material would be buoyant enough that you could fill it with water and it still floats and that's demonstrated by um, basically a, an inflatable boat like a rubber dinghy where if the rainwater gets in it and it fills right up to the top but the thing's still floating there because the cavities are full of air which offsets the buoyancy so it's still got air in. Okay that's it for this time.